But right now, I present to you the seventh third in the Dr. Lecturer of our University, Engineer, Professor Olu Brabo, South Africa. Having said that, may I respectfully welcome the following government council members who are in our midst. And please permit me to welcome special Dr. Serena Shipnam Ghana, the member of the government council of Buddha. Welcome. Please also welcome with me Dr. Shep Ogodino, a member of the Government Council and President of the Funaba Alumni Association. We have in our midst also a member of the Government Council, Professor Biodo Badmos, as a part of the work. And please permit me to also introduce Professor Jonathan Atungu, a member of the Government Council. We also have seated here the former Chief Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Adair Hickman. We are welcome, sir. The Registrar of the University, Dr. Bola Adekola. The Buster of the University, Mr. Kipu Mulike Izzet Bayasu. The University Librarian, Professor Fahim Tola Nikke Wikipade. The Dr. Adekola. Professor Olufio Samson. I will call him. I have to take it as I will call him. I will call him. Dean College of Engineering. Dean from other colleges, students and peers, and postgraduate school. Directors of institutes and academic centers. Acting head, Department of Civil Engineering. Other heads of departments, members of the University Senate, members of the Awukola family, all other academic and non teaching staff, all special guests and friends of the University, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Please, before I go ahead, let me also specially welcome the following members of the University Council who are also members of Senate in their own right. We're talking about Professor Festus in the world, we also, the Dean of Students, Member of Government Council, and Professor Ben Gapakoya, Member of Government Council, Dean College of Agricultural Management and Rural Development. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, great Unabites! Great Unabites! May I, at this juncture, invite the 73rd inaugural lecturer of our university, Professor Lufiroku Samson Awokwala, to please stand there and remain standing. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the 73rd inaugural lecturer of the Federal University of Agriculture, Adel Rizal, Nigeria. The inaugural lecturer of today, Professor Ruth Noble Samson Awukwala was born on July 27, 1954, to the family of late Pat Joseph Akiola Ishola Awukwala and late Madam Rachel Olate Awukwala in Fagini, both of the Gatom in Osho State. 
Professor Ogola had his primary education at Baptist Primary Day School in Dikon, Ibadan, between 1960 and 1961, from primary one to two, and from primary three to six at Baptist Primary Day School, in Ibadan, between 1962 and 1965. He was later registered as an apprentice tailor. Between 1966 and 1967, he proceeded to Kirichi Memorial College, that job, between 1968 and 1972, where he obtained a West African School Certificate in 1972. He was employed by Western State Ministry of Education between 1972 and 1975 where he was trained as a printer. He proceeded to be famous in Badamoli, Texas, for ordinary national diploma, where he certificate in civil engineering between 1975 and 1977. Professor Awokoda was awarded a scholarship by Nigerian Canada Technical Education Program in September 1978 for his Bachelor of Applied Science in Civil Engineering at the University of Ottawa in Canada, which is successfully completed in 1982. As a foreign cover, he was allowed to serve as profile consultant in Canada, where he learned the application of theory in reality. He proceeded to the University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, in 1986 to 1988 for his Master of Science, MSc degree in Water Resources Engineering with the UNESCO Fellowship. He registered for PhD and successfully defended it on the 12th of March 2009, the first PhD from the College of Engineering. Okay. It's not experience. <laughs> Professor Agopola was employed as a lecturer at the Federal Polytechnic in Laos in 1983. He later transferred his service to the University of Arizona to Abidjan in 1991 as lecturer two. He rose through the ranks to become a professor on October 1st, 2014. He was the acting head of the Department of Agriculture and Water Management between 2001 and 2003. Pioneer acting head of the Department of Water Resources Management and Agricultural Meteorology from 2003 to 2004, and Pioneer acting head of the Department of Civil Engineering 2004 to 2010. <laughs> Professor Arukola was the first alumnus in any department in the College of Engineering to attain the grade of professor at five years of age. Professor Awokola is a corporate member of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, current registered associate member, Canadian Society of Civil Engineers, associate member of the Engineering Institute of Canada, and member of the International Association of Agricultural Sciences. <laughs> Professor Awokola is highly experienced in civil engineering construction, design, and supervision. In academics, he had over 40 journal publications, several referred conference proceedings, and technical reports. Professor Wilkham has been in the academic system for almost 40 years, and he has been involved in teaching, research, consultancy services and supervision of student projects. In fact, he has successfully supervised PhD thesis and master's dissertations and numerous undergraduate projects in the field of water resources and environmental management in many universities in Nigeria and has also served as an assessor for professorial appointments in universities in Nigeria and Ghana. Membership of professional bodies. Professor Awukola is a member of the following professional bodies. Nigerian Society of Engineers, Registered Engineer Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, current, with registration number 5735 in 1994. 
associate member of the Indian Society of Civil Engineers, member of the International Association of Hydrogeological Science, and talking about administration. Of course, he has acted as head of the department of agrometeorology and water management from 2001 to 2003, member of the Committee of the Establishment of the College of Engineering and Technology, and was secretary in July 1999. He was pioneer acting head of the department of water resources management and agrometeorology, 2003 to 2004. Member, Senate Committee on Examination of Results. Pioneer acting head, Department of Civil Engineering, for six years, from 2004 to 2010. Professor Okola was the Deputy Dean, College of Engineering, in 2004. He was acting Dean, College of Engineering, in 2004. He's a member of the University Senate of 2011 to 8. He's a member of APCAS, member in class committee, Deputy Dean Student Affairs, and officer in charge of man works from 2011 to 2014. I know many of us will have to clap about that. What national is that in the Professor Aukala was a program leader in environmental systems and climate change at Cadiz, the World Bank project, from 2018 to date. He's the chairman of the Office of Verification Team in the Department of Geology. Professor Aukala was also the chairman of the Committee on the Review of Rules and Regulations for both senior and junior staff of the university. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Professor Aukala is happily married to Mrs. Uriyemi Debra Arukola Nunea Kekola, and they are blessed with a son, Uluwashi Osaluluwa, Isaiah Arukola, and a granddaughter, Kikina Ovelo Yemi, and your members, Richard Arukola, and a grandson, Toluwa Nunea, Ula Miga, Joseph Arukola. Mr. Chief Minister and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to invite Benjamin, Professor Olufiro Samson Awokola from the Department of Civil Engineering to present his inaugural lecture titled Hydrogeological Forecasting and Prediction, an important tool in water resources management and development. Thank you for your attention. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The acting vice chancellor of SAR, the deputy vice chancellor of Academy, the registrar, the bossa, the university librarian, members of the university government council, members of the university senate, chief executives of other institutions. My dear colleague of engineering, my dear uh, of other colleges, student affairs and postgraduate school, directors of institute, centers, and youth, my active head of department, active of the department of civil engineering, other head of department, academic and professional committees, presidents and members of professional associations, all officials staff. Members of my immediate and extended family, friends and well wishers, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, great Funawa, great Funawa, and the greatest Funawa. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Active as your service. Most the most distinguished audience, you will not know or understand why today is so important for you. This is the 73rd inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture in the I give all glory and honor to the Almighty God for giving me this rare and special opportunity to deliver this inaugural lecture on behalf of the College of Engineering. This is the second inaugural lecture in the College of Engineering and the first from Civil Engineering. <laughs> These are the first inaugural lecturers from the College of Engineering. 
late engineer, professor, Papa today, Papa Dr. Adenjo, the from Botanica, engineer, professor, Papa today, Adenjo, Wali Adenjo, the from Agri Engineering, engineer, professor, Peter, like Ayenu, the from Botanica Engineering, engineer, professor, Tadu Lee, Muraga Adenjo, the from Agri Engineering, engineer, professor, Mufta Adenjo, the from Agri Engineering, Engineer Professor Isaiah Dilidani, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, and my humble self, even as the Mutual Inaugural Lecture. The lecture is to be delivered by my humble self, the founder and architect of the Department of Civil Engineering. The today's lecture is ideological forecasting and prediction, an important tool in water resources development and management. What is hydrology? I simply say this. A sink is occurrence in many of the storage of the water in the earth system. It deals with understanding the underlying physical and stochastic processes. A number of physical and statistical laws Mathematical projects are developed. Therefore, ideology to ideology cycle. The ideology cycle is simply the distribution and movement of water on our planet, and it has a cycle of movement as suggested by the name ideological water cycle. We see that in the one. Precipitation falls to the act. I mean, temporarily care the fresh water surface storage. If we trace it to the ground, where some of it is stored as soil water and or ground water, and some of it is immediately evaporated, that which cannot be stored immediately returns to the atmosphere, then finds its way into streams and rivers, and eventually reaches lakes and the ocean. A regular and consistent supply of clean water has been required by all of civilization. And water has for most of the civilized issues been the legal form of transport, particularly of goods and produce. This is hydrology water cell. There is energy, energy from the sun that and evaporation takes place from the body of water, which can be the ocean, stream, lake, or water table. Then that goes up and condensation occurs. From this condensation, we have precipitation. When we talk about precipitation, I will emphasize very for in some other area, it can be slow, it can be heavy. Then there will be surface water. There will be population or infiltration. And that gives us what we call the groundwater. And it goes on like that. It has no beginning of the end. The Bible provides a statement of important concept underpinning the ideological segment, as we know it today. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Chapter 1, verses 6 to 7. The wind blows to the south and turns to the north. Run and run in boats. Ever returning on the stops, all streams flow into the sea. Yet the sea is never full. To the place where the streams come from, there we return the wind. Embedded with these verses are the concept of the Sabbath, and the Lord of us, or what I said. And it can be part of water balance, or conservation of matter. I don't know this cycle is an essential for sustainable agriculture, environmental protection and management, water resources development and management, prevention and control of natural disasters, mitigation of negative impacts of climate change. Engineering hydrology. What is engineering hydrology? The study of those aspects of hydrology 
which are really right to the solution of the ordinary problems in the control or utilization of water. If they are not saying anything, some, something here. If I ask my student, what is the water in the United Then I always ask them, what is water resources in the United And just to make it simple for them, is the control of water and utilization of water. When you control water, when you have excess, what is the excess of water? We talk about flooding. We talk about flooding. When people hear flood, the only thing that comes to mind is disaster, destruction. But truth it is not. It can be at the right place at the right time. But at the same time, it can be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Because it, it, uh, it, it can be very clear and be used for dry season farming. So it implies a method of study or analysis which is designed to answer the quantitative manner. Questions are rising in an engineering context, but without necessarily the plan extension of our understanding of the process involved. Such problems usually arise either in capacity or in frequency relation. So what is forecast? What is forecast? The estimation of the winds of hydrological effect Forecasting arises mostly directly in the operation of the government's power control. It is the of the that is the anticipation of the or the evaluation of the population of the return of the rising. We are going to If we are to do this for the we always We can focus on what we have on the last of the world. And then we can deal with whether we need to evaluate the market of them and the market of them. Or those that last of the world. So these are things that can be done. Frequency prediction. The estimation of how we can affect the world. Frequency predictions are associated with the design rather than the operation of such products. The analysis is basically the planning, design, and operation of water resources systems. I call that rural water, with our funds and levels. Recently, the plan of the water trading system was conducted by means of less intended than planning at the water share Hydrologic problems are associated with urban growth cannot be solved without a scientific approach to urban water resources. Hydrologic insight can be concerned with rural and large watershed, as therefore increasingly being concerned with small urbanized culture. Urban hydrology is now in the state plan of the some of these characteristics are application of an environment psychology model, principles of new simulation in urban area system, interface of water quality and water quality analysis, a multidisciplinary approach to urban water resources in the region, with the concentration of the environmental and urban planning of the Development of new techniques for mitigation of storm water effect. What are the consequences of storm? An important consequence of big flow will be the dramatic increase in flood damages. The effects of flooding are more devastating because of the flood in the urban urban segments have been historically attracted by water forces and the media flood caused by large rivers as traditionally consisted of structural origin. Experience with such measure indicates, however, that structural control to result in increased population of the flood. Development in the flood leads to the feeling of loss of 
body study, which also increases the big faith. If the stream or river is canalized, the time of concentration is decreased and the flooding problem will dance through. We can have this kind of this type of problem in Abel. During the onset of rainy season, most streams and rivers are channelized. And by the time we look at the effects downstream of Babel, that's where the problem now goes. See, you know, these are the problem of that channelized. And then another thing is that well, if you look at the immediate past, there are a lot of road construction, and the road construction now creates what we call impervious state. So the water cannot infiltrate. So whatever comes down goes down to the drain. The story of Noah and the flood in the Bible started from the book of Genesis, chapter 6. This was another great ideological event in the Bible. The Bible patriarchs, before the flood from Adam to Noah, they were ten. And the patriarchs after the flood from Shem to Abraham, they were ten as well. Noah was the tenth, last of the pre-flood patriarchs. And he was 600, 600 years old at that time of the flood. Prior to the flood, the average age of Bible patriarchs was about 857 years. But the next generation, not Abraham, after the flood, had an average age of 317 years. The question is, did the pre flood world enable a longer life? Or did God enact shorter lives because he was serving the admitted man? Genesis 6 7. Consider this quote from the previous version. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is rich. Yet his name shall be around 20 years. The shorter lifespan of the Lord can be attributed to the environmental, to the effect of environmental pollution because of the Lord. That is from our own house. Water plays a crucial role in the survival of living organisms, whether animals and plants. Water is important in all its forms. Also, because it's an integral part of the earth's landscape, it largely contributes to the shifting and also determines its climate. Fresh as well as salty water are inhabited by, by microorganisms that decompose water waste produced by man. This biological cycle is also of crucial importance. Chemical properties of water. Water is called in water source of water. Since it can know more substances like any other water. And we are looking if you observe when the dry periods of time is of interest in designing projects use of water. From one of the better limitation. In the design of any hydraulic engineering structure, a design flow was always produced. Larger streams or larger rivers within the basin are equipped with the flow aging equipment. But most of them are not maintained. Most of them are not functional. And no data for so many years in some of them. Why some other schools are rarely engaged? Where adequate basic information is not available, or when it is scarce or unreliable, special archaeologic methods are often applied. Coupled with engineering insights and gain understanding in order to obtain appropriate flood discovery. This is part of the focus of today's election. In Nigeria and other developing countries in the world, there are problems of data and waste, frequent gaps and data, and non existence of data 
as the world is suffering, where the world believes to be the way of the world of the world. The problem of the greatest seal in time and greatest management of the actual time is the likely solution to the man in this direction. The very vision of the relationship between the American buildings of the great importance for the transfer of information from the three main rivers to the main other rivers and other similar platforms for which no major stream to that. My research focus has always been how to produce the economy of paper that will be used for engineering, conservation and planning at both great and on great sites. It also will be clear that the treasury of all the studies required for the economic design of hydraulic structures and economic feasibility analysis of water resources management and environmental impact assessment of projects. The object is for developing nations to construct hydraulic structures cannot allow an indemnity way for adequate use. The hydrologist, therefore, has to use this field to appropriately choose those methods which will as accurately as possible predict the design-oriented parameters. In this lecture, the relationship and effect of geometric characteristics of open and ocean training basins and the floor frequency will be presented. Yet, it is for the future that water resources system have to be designed. Between the known past and your certain future lies the present where the existing systems must be operated as efficiently as possible. It is here that technology and forecasting as a it was reported in 2009 that the water military centers accounted for about 72% of the total economic value of the natural Out of the way, you can see the economic value of the This process has affected the economy in the future due to climate the experiences of the land is already in the Deforestation that happening, rising sea levels, and population growth will go through a traditional flow management, primarily the purpose of structural protection management, that is that pandemic. To reduce the big population and spatial extinction. At the least, all the water water resources should be created real time for the relationship of the water and their use to develop a program of the digital vision ready to be the relationship.
recycle it and it's a material from the waste. Waste people are still in the and fire the same recycling and use the material from the solid waste. Equation, the type of equation, 
and the rain matter. And as a direct one, that is why a good road, railway station is 25, and then 27, and the rest like that. The question will be used for engineers at Aid and Ambesa, and it will ease the computation of flood discharge is required for economic design of hydraulic structures and economic feasibility analysis of water quality. Although graphical and rating table will be accepted in any way for hand calculation, the rating equation that was developed is the way to, to computer analysis that we use in that. I will apply in 2005. The result of the pressure analysis showed that the value of exponent of area for most of the derived pressure in South Africa range between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. Quite that derived from the base in West Africa is 0 0.96. There is a high percentage difference decrease in the same order of 92% derived percent in the rate of one. Why a new percentage difference is this in ascending order of 1% to 10% in the range of 3,000 to 30,000 square kilometers? Morawa and Awokola in 2006. Modern the raw number of bodies are still in the environment. Nigeria, a rainfall run up model for simulation of run up for the unbased. This was used to develop and was used to simulate 52-year runoff data for the school. The performance of the development model was verified by comparing the simulated runoff with the observed flow records. I will call it in 2009. Make use of a limited technological data and mathematical parameters for catchment generalization of a daily case. Uh, the daily case and the daily discharge, the equations were derived, and finally, we were able to, to get this. And this, this map, we can use it to be able to as a preliminary selection of hydrometrically similar catchment within the basin, because I have to determine if they are similar or not. But because we have criteria, and optimize hydrometric regularities, regionalization protocol to provide a useful tool for catchment of migration and management in Nigeria and beyond. In Awokola and Boka 2009, the correlation matrix for maximum state and maximum distance revealed that there are 18 regression equations with correlation coefficient of about 50% for maximum state, where only 10 can be obtained from the maximum discharge matrix for the seven station. It was concluded that the right correlation for the maximum the maximum distance can be adopted for mitigation of natural disasters and will be used for warning for short-term events like flash flood to seasonal outlooks or the potential water supply, either for irrigation and even design of small hydraulic structures such as mountains. Active bystanders in our side. I will go there in job 2010 and back another study of the derivation of the internal flow frequency curve and the equation of the complaining phase in southwestern Nigeria. The relationship and effect of the geometric parastatics of the complaining phase and the flow frequency were investigated. But this time around, the annual maximum distance saving of the parameter. Olobi Meiji, Oyo Eshen, and Shepherd Terry, the biggest station we have in 
if you don't get all the way to the same thing, you know. A generalized equation for the estimation of the discharge of particular return period, with that meant a return period of change, as if the measure variable of the total equation is of this form. So this form. These equations are visible at both age and on the age side. And the least computation of these charges require for the economic design of hydraulic structures, thus improving the economic feasibilities of water projects. Rainfall, intensity, duration, frequency, and others. Africa has just said a little bit about When we have rainfall, we have what we call the intensity of the food. It comes with first, but it can be high intensity, but very short duration, but can break half. But it can have very low intensity, but longer duration, it can still break in the water. Now we are looking at the rainfall, the intensity of the rainfall, the duration of that rainfall, and the frequency, how often. Of frequency analysis. Another important relationship in engineering technology is the intensity duration frequency analysis. The direct relationship between the intensity duration and frequency of rainfall for any location determined from the analysis of the rainfall records obtained at that location can be made use of in various civil hydraulic engineering designs and planning, design of six sewer system, drainage, highway and agricultural drainage design, speedways, canals and dams. I think my sir. So, I would call it 2000 now for direct intensity ratio frequency equation for six selected locations in southern Nigeria. The Kenya, the Mali, Congo, Edo, Alaba, and Nairobi. We did not have shown these are the equations for various locations. The reason is this when you are in this, a work based with contractors and consultants, most of the time you want to design drainage for Lagos or Abeokuta, and you are using the rational method. And you are going to the books to look at coefficient of product derived from either Germany or London. And I said, why do we have to go to the when we have our own? That is, that, that's what the president is, like I said, from combining time with God. So we do this equation with from the world uh, use. This is another study by a woman in 2005 in Tanzania. This is the Lusak town, the Lusak apartment in Tanzania. The study was carried out. And the result compared very with what was done, even by Mali, by Free in 1975. A woman in 2005, the right. Rainfall intensity duration, frequency duration for southern Nigeria, for this most commonly become the Why graphic, like I said before, graphical mechanics are something new, but since you have computer, the equation can really put into that. This equation and the graph. Groundwater condition and shadow are too fast. We do an another study in physical chemical parameters of shallow aquifers in Abu and Akibode in southwestern Nigeria. Abuja, as we see in Nigeria, as I to clean water and potable water is a great challenge. And the reason the physical chemical properties of the groundwater in Abu and Akibode communities in the world state. Southwestern Nigeria was on the land. I will call it 2013. Study the, the direction of groundwater flow and also examine the 
parametric relationship and we measure it from the graphical and the right data for the management of exploration and exploitation of groundwater in shallow aquifers. Shallow aquifers is what we refer to as handled works of available. The equations established can be used are essential. It can be used as a simple a guide to map out the land use of this country area and thereby take steps to ensure that land use activities in the research area do not pose a threat uh, to the groundwater. If you look at this uh, at this picture, most of us don't know that when you have your house, you don't know what is happening in your neighbor's space. But even within your own end, if you have your septic tank and you have your sweet away, the buffer is not there at that age. The buffer must be at the offspring of the septic tank because of the direction of the flow that is going to be what you call nature that can pollute your buffer or your adult. So, getting the uh, direction of the flow within the campus was that study studying shadow aquifers of adult boy at 10 different locations and uh, were able to get a lot of information, especially the direction of flow, which can be, which university can use to determine where to site dumps, where to give that it's going to be a better safety time or whatever, so that it will not pollute the ground water. This is the top map of the water level showing the flow direction. The next one is erosion rate investigation investigation. Some of us may be bad or may not believe in the erosion problem in open state. Soil erosion is a serious threat to my existence, particularly in developing countries where scarce financial resources are being permitted to combine them. We can see what happened in those two pictures. We can see this erosion rate of estimation and estimation. This is not any other way than the open state. This is a mistake. Mr. Vice Chancellor, my research covers selected erosion sites of the state. An expression of our erosion rate was developed, which would mean that calculated discharges with limited hydraulic and hydraulic data can be used to establish erosion rate situation. Label only erosion of the day in the world. The body development started at our management due to drag and vegetation for physical development. It became rapidly enlarged due to the same slope towards the value of the Currently, about one meter away from the residential area, we can see this body erosion. This is level body erosion. This is Channel had been done 
the effects of the above is the flooding of the downstream section of the construction. You can see the flooding of the celestial, those who tell you that are familiar with the land. This is the flooding of the celestial chain of crop and sample in the area. This is the effect of the residential property. This is the church. This is the damage done to the church fence for the Sabbath of the Lord. I will go and watch it in 1996. The actual house is And back on the procedure, that will require estimation of soil erosion and employment by habitat that can be easily employed. I will call you with uh, the technicalities for. My professional colleagues and others, the remote is available. We have two discharge equations. We have my products and my products. So for the hydraulics, we use minus equation. For the hydraulics, we use rational motor. Both were made use of to obtain the information and the original rate equation of this plan was established for that. For full body erosion rate, we find out that this could be predicted with a longitudinal equation as shown. This established relationship will make quite of erosion information and control reasonably possible with only a diagram. I would call out to the other the completion of the effect of scope and run off on the original of This will have a very interesting monograph that we can show for this. So that for the way resulting now by going the discharge and the erosion and we calculated the benefit of the slope. Another equation that has been had that takes into consideration the great size of the eroded material because of the soil mechanics we have great size distribution and management and we believe we are able to form uh, to arrive at this equation, which shows the erosion share size and distance, and the equation that we have developed are shown in the conclusion side. In most of my research work, reliable techniques and uniform measures have been developed to minimize the delays and risk in the implementation of the Water resources project. Make different users of the method get access and close and in agreement when it is applied to the same problem. Compute flood P required for economic design of highway to be structure and establish relationship between mean and mass flow and attachment area and the right regional frequency for for one ocean data. Estimate reliably the magnitude of small adapter that are often required in the design of diversion work in a school and for purposes of designing speedways and demand with short work recommendations. What is the most important natural resource needed to run in all recommendations? Both among the rural and the bank world, government need to make water and availability than the priority. Government must support the biological and data convention with adequate funding. Power supply and also be another major factor, militating again the provision of water as most stations have to run on the region for power supply and spending more. To power the community, the issue of regular power supply must be addressed. 
In order to avoid economic and environmental crisis, losses caused by pollution, it is appropriate to regulate the construction movement, limiting the areas with exposed soil using temporary soil stabilizers, reduction of the overland overland flow capacity, and building of temporary sedimentation areas. There is need for speed and process of improvement of site planning for sediment pollution, the active crisis of the city. I wish to suggest that hydrology and hydrology improvement be introduced as another area of specialization in civil engineering department, both at the material and the government. I remember 15 days of that in 1972. You took me 
to Western State Ministry of Information, and you are telling everybody that Rocco is my director of responsibility. And finally, I was a clerk as a printer in the administration. This is the other generation, and Dr. Isaac, the Minister of Rocco, Jami, Mrs. Fuka, Kola, Oye, and Yawukola, Mr. Iskadola, Mr. Yawukola, and Mr. Yawukola, Mr. Samuel, who was shaped by the world, and Mrs. Kiffey, a lot of people are talking about it. My heroes, Patty, Chief, Joseph, who was a lot of people, and my father-in-law, who is left in the Lord of the Sunday, the 27th September, 1996. And my brother-in-law, and I'm a little bit of a child, and they said, thank you and God bless you. My family is... Those are my family reasons. Professor Sam, A. Oduara, I accepted this as my clear invitation to attend the full course of this conversation. It's my spiritual mentor. I have prayer partners with them. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful to my teachers in primary school. I don't want to. I just want to give you this. The primary school that is my teacher. My second school teachers read the Bible and the Bible. The Polytechnic Bible. The Master of Cultural Africa. The Master of Dice and Africa. And Federal University of Life Chapter. I have to share the mention my dissertation and thesis professor. Professor Michael Brent provides my MS. Why my PhD was not raised by the resolution of the ABC and was very well shared with you. An everyday scholar of international level, both of them will read and correct the chapter and write a meaningful of the PhD report. Professor Shokoloi has a belief in writing and writing. I learned a lot from all of them. Professor Antonio Shokoloi and Professor Shokoloi and Professor A. Kuka took over the submission of my PhD after the opportunity list of my supervisor. Uh, uh, I appreciate you, the principal officer. I appreciate all the principal officer of the university from 1991 to 1980. College of Engineering Family. I thank the dean of College of Engineering and Professor Oli Dyer for giving me the privilege of presenting this program lecture. And you have to take the idea of I also thank all the five deans of the college. And you have to give us a dear idea of the professor O. A. Davis. And you have to give us a dear idea of the people. And you have to give us a dear idea of the people. And you have to give us a dear idea of the people. And you have to give us a dear idea of the people. I especially recognize all my colleagues in the college. Our late colleagues, engineer Professor Oti of Atenki, engineer Dr. Stacey Matu, GA Polite, who is a fellow colleague, who is an SDR, who is a civil engineering department, engineer Professor GA Polite, Dr. A.O. Baini, engineer who is a fellow colleague, who is a fellow colleague, Dr. Fumayo, Emma Lyon, Dr. Wuti Ula, Figueiredo, Dr. Ula, and Dr. Ula, is a new video here. This is the one you and you have only a new attitude, and you have your attitude, so we are going to go to Mr. Seo, because of Mrs. Abbey, and Mr. Abbey, and Mr. Abbey. Other family members in the civil engineering department of civil engineering department of the of Shuste University of Shuste, or that is your Novaga University campus. Uh, this, these are my colleagues and my students, Dr. Banino and Dr. Mrs. Salah. They were my students. <laughs> 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 I thank the university community members of ASU, San 
Presents this award of honor to engineer Professor Ulufiwako Samson Awukola as the seventh inaugural lecturer of the university. Dated this day, Wednesday, 8 February, year 2023. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. 
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when we started this program, I was really elated because this is one of the very rare inaugural lecture. And how do I mean? We have this lecture, Bring Grace, by Kendo Lacrem of the Federal University of Agriculture and Africa. And when I, when I say that, I mean our employers are almost all here. As we are having the lecture, we have joining us another distinguished member of the Open Council of our University, in the person of Al Haji Inua Tahir Eminai. Haji Tahir, you are welcome. He's a member of the Open Council of Fena. And we also have another distinguished member of the Government Council, Hajia Halima Lawa. Hajia Halima Lawa is representing the Federal Ministry of Education of the Government Council of Puna. You are welcome. And then, of course, we have our own, our own son of the soil. Should I say that? We have given us Dr. Dayo Duwoli. Dr. Dayo Duwoli, you are welcome. Dr. Dario, everybody is the representative of the congregation on the government council. So you can see, Professor Olufero Prosap Sanawokola, you are so blessed. Congratulations once again. And then, please, before we round up, I want to welcome each and every one of us. Thank you so much for coming and raising this occasion for me. Please permit me to welcome the following people specially. Of the Bara Baptist Church. Can you please stand up for recognition? All members of the Bara Baptist Church, you are welcome. Thank you so very much for coming. And then we have in our list someone who, when the 72nd inaugural lecture took place, he took charge as a chairman ceremonial committee. But today is attending as a rector. Of Oyo State College of Agriculture and Technology. I'm talking of no other than Professor Ami Akilabi, the rector of the Oyo State College of Agriculture and Engineering and Technology. You're welcome for thank you for joining us. Of course, we also have an amazing Mrs. Tina Olayo. Mrs. Tina Olayo is here. You're welcome. Thank you so much. We have Someone who has been introduced when I say high ranking member of the university, we just have to say recognize Professor Samuel Luana. You are welcome, thank you so very much. Of course, we also have seated in front here Mr. Anedi Abasi Udufia, the deputy registrar in this university and a former registrar, a former registrar of the University of Nuremberg. Mr. Abdullah, you are welcome. Seated right beside me. Or two seats away is Mrs. Sulu Atoni Naudu, the Deputy Legislative Academic Staff Establishment is in Naudu. Well, you want to avoid the list, and we still welcome this set of people. I want to welcome the College of Engineering family. Can you please stand up for everyone who has this with you? Brilliant. College of Engineering family, congratulations. Thank you so very much. You can have your seat. And so, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to thank every one of us for coming. We have come to the end of the 73rd inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture and Agriculture, delivered by Professor Olu Firoko Sansen Awokola. Congratulations once again, Lord. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you when we have the 74th inaugural lecture of the university. Thank you. Public relations. Over to you. Let's give our heart to the Chancellor of the United States. He has been here this year. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Vice President, I'm just coming inside. I want to invite the Secretary of the Seminar Committee to actually inform us and in respect to what kind of reception. Because we are very organized in this university. Please look back. Please, government members have to follow the procession.